Welcome to the world of AI and how AI tools can make teaching so much easier because it's so fast to create content and add resources and in fact to find resources. I'm in a course. This appears on any course. Uh, you have to ask your admin to install it. It's completely free and really easy to install. So. Uh, Let's go into Knowledge Library. That's what it's called, Knowledge. And yes, it's French and maybe I mispronounced it, but let's go into the library. Teachers can do this, but students cannot. It's not available. Notice this is an activity that I created yesterday. I'm going to create a new module. So create on module, and then I'll give it a title. And this time I'm going to call it TESOL online with AI overview because uh, I'm going to share a video. Right, now notice the options here. You can add a file and upload it. And um, you can see the different files that you can upload, audio, HTML, HTM, open document, uh, which is great, PDF, files, text file, video, notice the different versions of the videos, and Word 20 2007 document docs, or Word doc in general. And of course, you can also change the language. Notice all the languages that are currently available. If you want to take a look at that a little more slowly, there it is. And um, okay, so I'm going to go with... Uh, Notice the limitations here. Okay, audio. The max is 60 minutes, which is plenty of time, right? Uh, the character is 500. You can get take all this into account. Video, 60 minutes, which is a lot. And um, other information on content limitations. You can also write directly. Um, in the text area, notice I'm using tiny MCE, so you can add the information here. Remember, it's an AI tool, so it uh, is very, very efficient and fast. And the web resource is what I'm going to add. So once I look for the web resource, notice uh, my options and uh, I need a URL. The type of content is video. You can also have web content which is a website, basically. And the URL is there, okay? And the language is English. Create the module. Now, this is where the magic happens. And this is absolutely amazing. I, I tried it yesterday, and I just couldn't help thinking how wonderful this is for teachers, especially those who use Moodle LMS. And Moodle is going to be even better, and it's getting better. I've been using Moodle since 2003, and it has gone through so many changes. And the latest is uh, the integration of AI in Moodle, whether through plugins or soon uh, with the core plugins. So this is really exciting, exciting times for teachers, and of course for students, because teachers have more time to spend with their students and support them. And they don't have to spend hours, and literally hours, uh, creating content or using content that they're not really happy with. Now, this takes time. So um, feel uh, confident and don't lose faith because uh, it will be created, trust me. It just may take a little bit of time. The video is quite long, I think, but even that's not an excuse. Um, but I think it's worthwhile. You could do other things in the meantime. You could just keep everything open and, and go on to something else. So no worries, it does work. And um, just to show you what I have here, uh, let me take you, you can get a preview of what's here. You can also edit after. So uh, let's take a look at what's here. This is what I developed from a YouTube video. And you can see the various activities. We can go through each of them. They open up 
and you can see what they're like. Uh, let's go back here to another one. They all say video because that's the source. Notice um, these cards are designed to help you learn and memorize the key concepts. Okay, so you can always edit, but this is their choice uh, from the video. So you can go on to the next one. Notice there are 15 cards. You need to know something about Generico support forms. This is absolutely amazing. Um, you could also, and I've tried this, uh, use other content, other sources such as um, a PowerPoint presentation or a PDF file. So there you can see a podcast is. This is great for language learners, of course, the source code, what it is, and so on. Let me go back now to the next one. As I said, the video doesn't mean that it's a video. It just means that it's based on a video, and that could be confusing. Okay, there's some more. These are flashcards based on the video. You can turn and learn the concepts, right? Excellent. Let's go on to the next one. And that's a video. It's a game, okay, basically. All right, and um, notice what you can do here. You can add. And if you're like me, then you just want to try things out and just show the solution. And then you've got the solution there. That's just for now. And then there's another activity. Uh, let's see what this says. Notice you just drag and drop. And if you want to check, you'll see. And uh, these are the words on the left. And you can make mistakes. That's how we learn. All right, next one is uh, this one. Okay, notice it's find the word H5P. All right, and um, yes, you guessed it. These are all H5P activities. You don't have to think too much uh, because we don't have time to overthink. Uh, this amazing tool will do it for you. So we've looked at that. Um, there are some of the other ones, Glossary, uh, H5P, and notice uh, here you get the terms once again. And here's another one. I'm not going to go take you through all of these because you can actually try it yourself. And then uh, this is an iBook. I don't know if for some reason it didn't open up. There it is. So let's start. Okay, learn, test, practice, and make your learning stick in one go. And there's the video, and there's the text. Okay, and you can go on to the next one. The source is always there. And uh, these are the terms, again, image generators, and so on. Right, so let's go on to, how many do we have left here? Uh, this one. Okay, and... Um, this one is an eye video. Okay, you may need to refresh there so that it opens up. There we go. And um, you'll have different things in the Gmail video. account, which is all. Okay, so you can go through that and um, get information there. And then there's this one. We're almost near the end. Quiz. Okay, quizzes are amazing. And there are a few of them. Notice uh, true or false. And then uh, let's go on to the next one. Multiple choice. Great questions. All right. So these are all the questions. And notice everything is dated. So you can go through them and uh, try them out. And the final one is this one. Key point summary, which is super important. You can start that with your students. So let's go back and see how things are going with the other video that I added. Before we go there, I just want to show you that you can make unlisted, rename, replace with a file, download, copy content, or delete if you don't uh, like it. All right, so we're back here and notice transcription completed for you to note. So we're going to go on to actions and then edit okay so and then we're going to click on start analysis so we've got 
the summary. Now we're going to start the analysis. I mean, this is for the tool, right? And now it's going through analysis and you'll have to wait for that. So you're going to go through each of the stages until you get to the final stage. And we'll get to that in a second. Now, every time you don't have to stay by, you can go. But every time you could even close the page, actually, because you get email notifications every time uh, one of these uh, status update is finished. So I got an email letting me know that analysis is completed. So I'm going to go back into actions, go into edit, and I'm going to go to the next stage. Now notice um, these stages here, question summary generate. That's the final one. So here, notice these are all the um, activities that will be added. Quite a few of them, as you can see. Okay, you can always delete if you're not happy. Going to go on to save and go on to questions. Okay, because these are all the activities, so they're not on one page because it's a long scroll as it is. But these are the questions. You can take a look at them. You may want to change things, but I would wait until the end and then make all the changes. And then I went on to the summary and the final step. This is where the magic begins. Click on generate and it's going to generate the concepts, questions and summary. So notice the question generate conceptual assessment. You can say no. Uh, use this activity in the interactive book. OK, and so on. And then generate act. Activities. And as I said, wait for the magic to happen. Uh, when it happens, you'll get an email notifying you that it has uh, happened, <laughs> that the activities were generated and you can come back and take a look at them and use them in your course. Remember, these are H5Ps, so you'll find them under H5P. If you want to learn more about H5Ps, you can take a course on this platform uh, in January. So let me know if you're interested. Uh, of course, all the courses on the platform are currently completely. And notice it's done. That was pretty fast, right? Activities generated. And now we can take a look and uh, notice the previews here for the second one. It's here for this one as well. That may take a few more seconds. So stay. So these are all the activities. Aren't they amazing? Now you can upload them. You can add them. Notice um, you can add more activities if you're interested. These are all H5Ps. Um, amazing, right? You can also search for them. But notice now they're in the content bank where you can retrieve them. More on that. If you're interested in learning, let me know uh, in the comment box below. Enjoy H5P. They're amazing. Your students will love them. And now there's an easy way to generate them with this amazing tool that you can find in your library called Knowledge.